Hi everybody, Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com. I want to take a moment today to talk to you about happiness, productivity, and self care, how they are all related, and how we can approach those topics in our everyday life in order to create positive change. So, one of the things that a lot of people get caught up with, especially in the United States, is a huge pressure towards productivity. And when you put so much pressure on yourself to have a huge output, you are operating from a, a place of stress. And what is underlying that stress is a fear, an innate fear that we will not produce enough, that we will not be good enough, that we will not be successful enough, that other people will not see us as achieving enough. Of course, operating from a place of fear is not going to bring us what we truly desire, and it's definitely going to work against um, our other desire, which is for happiness. Our true desire is for happiness, and we get caught up in this mental trick that tells us that being high achievers, being having a high level of productivity is going to give us a sense of self-worth, which is going to equal happiness. However, we have the ability to start from a place of creating happiness for ourselves, and then everything else will fall into place from there. So one of the ways to change um, operating from a place of fear is by taking more time for self-care, by actually slowing down your daily routine a little bit, giving yourself a bit more time. Um, I find for me it works especially well in the mornings, giving yourself a little bit more time for the things that make you feel good whatever that means for you. Um, for me, it means taking some extra time for journaling, taking some extra time for yoga, taking some extra time to really prepare good, healthy foods for myself, things of that nature. Um, for everybody, one of the things that you can do is pay close attention to what you need, what your body needs. Be in tune with your body. Do not ever ignore any of your bodily needs. I know that sounds very basic, but I guarantee that if you sit and think about it, there are times when all of us do that. Um, we ignore our hunger. We ignore our need to stretch, our need to get up and move around. We ignore our need to... Um, to drink water, we ignore all kinds of things like that under the guise of we need to get stuff done so I can't stop and take time for myself, I can't take care of myself right now, I need to get stuff done. We train ourselves to actually ignore what we need. So the first step is paying close attention to that and actually making a conscious effort to stop every time that you have a need to stretch or move around or go outside and get some a breath of fresh air, whatever it may be. Um, make a conscious effort to pay attention and get up right then and do it when you need to do it. You don't have to take a lot of time. It can be two minutes, five minutes, whatever. The point is when you need to take care of yourself, you need to take care of yourself. And it may sound counterintuitive to slow down your productivity a little bit in order to be more productive but it's not. Um, I guarantee that if you try these things, you will notice that your productivity flows a lot smoother, a lot easier. You will be operating from a place of being a, in more alignment with your higher self, your higher purpose. And when you are in alignment with your own needs and your higher self, your higher purpose, it causes you to also be in stronger alignment with the outside world and with the higher purpose of the people around you. Not only that, but people are going to perceive you as being more authentic and more genuine because you are, because you're operating from, um, from your true self, from your heart. And people are going to pick up on that, perceive it. It's going to have all kinds of positive changes in your life. Productivity is so much easier um, when you really take the time to care for yourself, when you have more time in your day, when you have a more relaxed attitude. Um, and not only that, but your ideas will be clearer. Your, um, your desires, your creativity, your inspiration, and your ideas will just flow more easily. And when you're flowing on that level from a place of happiness, 
and relaxation when you're in tune with um, with your intuition your creativity your inspiration you're going to be operating at a higher um, frequency you're going to be feeling happier um, because you feel so balanced and you're going to be operating at a higher vibrational frequency and in turn that is going to attract more happiness more abundance and more rewards into your life um, almost effortlessly so it all comes back to really taking care of yourself paying attention to what you need and that is going to create so many um, extra blessings in your life so thank you so much for watching i appreciate it please let me know if you have any questions please let me know if you have suggestions for future video topics thanks a lot stay blessed